In 2004, um, there were a group of us that met here at the college um, with um, representatives from the Department of Defense. And at the time, the partnership was defined as um, a, a school of education working with um, laboratories and the school divisions located around military laboratories. The idea behind that was that we wanted to create an opportunity for role models and highlight careers. Um, what was expected was that the students would be really charged about the, the activities. They were. What was unexpected was the way the teachers became charged working with scientists and engineers. <laughs> Most of the students that we work with are middle school age students. Middle school age students are usually starting to lose interest in science. You'll see in the first day of the program students really challenged and maybe even frustrated in trying to figure out how to program this robot to get it to do what they want it to do. And there is every single time in this program, every team that works in this, there is a moment when they finally figure it out. It's just neat to see that, uh, that, that spark and that click that the, the kids have with, with connecting and learning. The biggest challenge for this is letting go and, and realizing that it's student-centered and sometimes it's messy, it's loud. Why an educational institution? When we provide professional development, um, folks will ask, why is a school of education and why is William & Mary involved in this project? And the answer we give is that it is an educational issue. It's about education. Um, engineering, no doubt, engineering is, and, and science are, are, are part of the issues as well. But the real issue is connecting education and educational opportunities to the careers of the future. Lemons are very dangerous. The main reason for using mines is the cases of war. There are some robots like this one that are just built to find the find the lines of the war they are so they can get them out and suddenly allow this illusion to fly. It's not the fact that students are disinterested in science. Most of the time, it's students don't even know what it means to be a scientist or what it means to be an engineer. Teachers often tell us that the student that they felt like would be least likely to go into STEM are the ones who respond the best to this program. <laughs> Most, most important goal, I think, is to uh, get the kids to, to like science and math and uh, see that it's not so horrible. I think every school, every grade level, needs to do a project similar to this. We've had some teachers say that um, it's why it reminds them of why they became a teacher. Um, or they'll say things like, it's, I'm finally doing something that I used to do years ago. Um, it's why I became a teacher. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay.